Last month, we brought you scenes from the 52nd annual MSUB Pow Wow. Today's Billings Public School event isn't quite that old, but it serves as an important precursor to teach the city's youth about Native American heritage and culture. Our David J. takes us inside. The high school Pow Wow returned to West High School after two years off because of COVID. All the students are pretty excited to come together with all the other schools and all the other tribes and all the tradition. The Celebrating Our Youth Pow Wow opens with a grand entry. I love grand entry. It's like where everyone shows up. They show all your dance moves, where everyone comes together. Since I can't be the princess of my own reservation, I'm honored to be a princess of my own high school. I think it's really special. Um, it's cool to be a part of something in the school. The princesses get the special place up front and the purpose of the high school powwow is the same as the bigger powwows around the state. There's a really strong competitive aspect to it in the traditional sense, but it's also just a gathering of people so that everyone can enjoy it, everyone can once again be immersed in the culture. And I think it's really important to do so. They compete in their different categories of dancing, but it's also to come together and celebrate just being together and all part of one nation, really. School District 2's Indian Education Program opens the powwow to everyone and brings in students from 22 tribes from Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, and South Dakota. The high school powwow helps teach and carry on traditions for students of all ages. As urban Indians, we're not on the reservation ourselves. So like these traditions are part of our culture and our background, and it's important that we recognize this. It's like home, like really makes you feel at home, especially since this is an uh, off-reservation school. It's really nice to know that you have that community around you still. Past couple years, kids they haven't been to a lot, but now we have finally finally show them like what we do, what our traditions are, and all that. I feel like our culture is like going away, and I just want to keep it like keep it still alive. At the high school level, this is something that's unique, both to our state and I think pretty in general throughout the U.S. In Billings, David J. MTN News.